I have been seeing a lot of Doom posting around Chiari, with some people even comparing her to Dia. This is completely absurd, so I'm going to give a detailed breakdown on her actual power level. So as we know, Chiari is a Geo sub DPS. This is where a lot of the complaints with her come from. Most people did not want a pure Geo sub DPS. They wanted something like a really good buffer or healer, something revolutionary for Geo. Chiari certainly does not revolutionize Geo, but she is still best in slot for quite literally every Geo team in the game. I think she improves them by more than what she's being given credit for. For Ito, she replaces Albedo and does way more damage than him, resulting in a noteworthy DPS upgrade. Was it a big enough upgrade to give Ito top tier level DPS? No. But she did provide Ito some benefits that do not reflect on Sheet, and that is front loaded damage. I don't think people realize the amount of damage that Chiari is capable of front-loading. In this Ito team, with Chiari on Harbinger of Darn, if we take a look at the, at the damage that Chiari gets early into the rotation, so that's two puppets, one for each puppet, so two puppet hits, her cast skill damage, her two A1 hits, and her burst, that's roughly 320,000 front-loaded damage. It might not cross pe most people's mind that this damage is front-loaded because it's not consolidated into one big hit, but it, it doesn't need to be. It's still high damage dealt in a very short period of time. There's also Navia. In the, so, in this team, Cherry doesn't even get a second puppet, but she still does really good sub-DPS damage, over 300,000. To put it into perspective, most sub-DPS characters like Farina, Yelan, Zhongling, etc., unless they are being hyper-buffed or vaping, tend to do somewhere between 200 to 300,000 damage, so Chiori's damage is up there even without a construct. On top of that, like with Ito, she has huge advantages that don't show up on Sheet. Previously, Navia would need to use either Zhongli or Albedo for best results, Navia is primarily a single target character, and against Barsis, constructs like Zhongli's Pillar and Albedo's Flower easily get destroyed, making them unreliable for Crystallize, Zhongli unreliable for Tenacity, and Albedo unreliable for damage. Cherry doesn't have this problem at all, since she isn't a construct and can't break. This advantage applies to Ito's team and any other Geo team like Noel or Ningguang as well. It's also particularly good for Ito and Noel since they really need energy. And if you're a Zhongli or Albedo construct breaks, they're no longer making particles. And Cherry doesn't just improve Geo DPS teams. She also greatly improves Double Geo as a team car. Granted, there aren't many teams that can make good use of Double Geo these days, but one that certainly can is Linny. For this, you would play Linny, Bennett, Zhongli, Chiari, using Chiari in place of Zhongling. Chiari's damage is only slightly less than Zhongling's would be in this team, but you are able to perform a much shorter rotation, as Chiari will only take one second of field time, whereas Zhongling's cooldown forces a 20 second minimum rotation. This makes Chiari a very big DPS upgrade over Zhongling, and this is the highest DPS way to play Linny with a shield. I think that's enough examples to see that Chiari is by no means a bad character. My take is that people are just disappointed because they were already unhappy with the state of Geo, and were really hoping for something revolutionary. But completely revolutionizing Geo is just simply not something we should be expecting one character to do. The element would need direct changes from Hoyo themselves. It should have gotten a reaction with Dendro, but unfortunately we didn't get that and that's not Chiari's fault. Chiari is not a bad character, she is just not what most people wanted. She may not be of use for you, but that does not make her bad. With that said, I do think that there are some valid criticisms about Chiari, 
and there are things that I myself would change about her. Firstly, she's a pure sub-DPS in an element with practically no utility. Most sub-DPS characters, for example Farina, Yelan, Jungling, etc., have utility in addition to their damage. They provide their elements, which can set up or even trigger reactions, and they buff. Even Zhongli provides some pyro shred and damage bonus. So when sub DPS of much better elements than Chiari are allowed to buff, why isn't Chiari? If it were up to me, I would change her passive that gives her 20% geo damage bonus if there was a construct. That would make that a universal team wide buff, and I would give it the following effect. If a nearby party member is protected by a Geo Shield or a Crystallized Shield, increase this buff by an additional 20% damage bonus. So basically, if you have a Construct and a Shield like Zhongli or Noel's or a Crystallized Shard, that would be a 40% team wide damage bonus buff. I don't think that would have been too much to ask for. And then there's Chiari C1. A lot of people are upset about her C1 because it not being in her base kit kinda jimps her damage in Navia and Noel teams for seemingly no reason at all. Personally, I think the reason Hoyo locked this behind C1 is because they wanted Chiari to bridge the gap between Ito and Navia. And if Navia had Chiari with two puppets even at C0, then Navia would just completely mock Ito. Another reason I think they did this was to try and stop her from directly power creeping Alvedo. I think that's also the reason they didn't give her any utility outside of buffing, because there would just be no reason to ever use Albedo anywhere. The problem with that is, she still directly power crept him anyway, so holding back on Shiri's power level to protect Albedo was meaningless, and giving her the construct restriction until C1 was also kinda pointless. So I would let her just always start with two puppets. And then change her C1 to something like, each time a Geo Construct is created, increase all party members' defense by 30%, max 3 stacks. That way, the existence of her, C1, of her C1 would still give Ito an advantage over Navia without hurting the base C0 kit. But overall, Cherry is a perfectly fine character. She may not be what you wanted, and you may not have use for her, but as a wise man once said, the world does not revolve around you, so don't be a jerk.